Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the new Wet n Wild icon or color icon eyeshadow palette and this one's in Heart and Soul. So if you want to see what I think about this palette, how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So today we are going to be doing an eyeshadow look using this Wet n Wild color icon and this one's in Heart and Soul. I picked it up at Walmart. I think it was like no more than five dollars sorry i was just eating some takis because you know takis are the shiz anyways we're gonna be going ahead and testing out this eyeshadow palette i have um seen people use the gold looking one i'll go ahead and insert a picture here um a lot on youtube but i wanted to do this one because of course we're in the month of february and valentine's day is literally just a few days away so i wanted to try this one out for you guys and i am going to be doing another look with the morphe oasis palette like i said i was but i'm waiting on the morphe foundation to come in heart and soul is coming off and that's the only place that it has the actual labeling on it of the the eyeshadow palette because on the back it just says 10 pan eyeshadow palette so Sorry, heart and soul. We're just gonna have to let you go. <laughs> but anyways, these are what the shades look like. They're very, very pink. Very pretty mauve tones. I love this eyeshadow palette. It looks so good. And I can't wait to get it on my eyes. Um, but I, like I was saying, I will be doing the Morphe... Uh, another look with the Morphe Oasis palette. Like a pink look. But I'm gonna wait till the Morphe foundation comes in, which won't be here till Friday. So I'm like, I can't wait because I've seen a lot of really good reviews on it. And I just want to kind of give you guys my own opinion on that foundation. And you guys know that I love the Morphe Oasis palette. It's really, really good. I do love it. Like, from all the shadows that I've used, I really love the formula and I like the way that it blends out. I think it's just an overall good palette. I saw that I love Sarai did two looks uh one on one eye and one on the other eye and i did like that but i feel like she hasn't came out with any more like looks using that palette which would be really nice if she did because excuse me she did collab with them on that palette so it would just be nice i'm gonna start off with this peachy shade and also this pinky shade i'm just gonna mix them both together um, oh, I didn't even prime my eyes, but you know what? I'm going to just put some concealer. Okay, now let's go ahead and go in to those first two shades that I showed you guys. And I'm going to go in the crease. They are showing up. I'm gonna I'm not gonna tap it off. I don't have my foundation on anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and straight pat it. And these are both shades mixed together and it's making like a peachy pink shade. So it looks pretty. I do like it. Um I've been loving the this brush set from the Sweet Oasis collection. Like, girl, bomb. I love them. Like, I use every single one of the brushes. The only one I really did wasn't like a big fan of was the little flat liner brush. I'm not like too crazy about it. Only reason being is like, it's kind of stiff to where it kind of hurts my eyes. So. I haven't tried it for eyeliner maybe I'll do that but so far um, I'm really enjoying this I I I'm really enjoying these eye brush set this eye brush set <laughs> I'm really enjoying it I think it works out 
really nicely um i think they work out really nicely with eyeshadows i feel like it's a perfect combination that you need to create a really nice look without having to dip into other like brush sets or different brushes i think it's a good set on another note i do feel like this reminds me somewhat of the shades that are in the rose in the air palette a palette that came out like time back um this eyeshadow palette actually reminds me of that palette all right so now i'm gonna go in oops, wrong brush so now i'm gonna be taking this shade here i'm gonna go in with this shade and pack it on the outer third of the eye and kind of just drag it pat it into the crease if you hear snoring it's my dogs they're napping right now so uh, what i did was just kind of patted it in like a circular shape around the eyelid because I kind of want to create um, a halo eye. I'm going to go back in with the first two shades and just go around the edges of this eyeshadow to kind of bring it further blended out. Okay, and then I'm going to take this small flat shader brush and I'm going to take this shade here I'm going to take that shade and apply it to the brow bone just to give it a little a little lift and so far they look really good they're blending out really nicely um I have no complaints so far. I think it looks good. I'm gonna. I feel like it's the colors kind of fading right here, that mauvey shade. So I'm gonna take some more and kind of press it a little bit more in there, just to deepen it up. Um, I don't feel like it's picking up, but let's move on to the next shade. I'm gonna go in with this shade here mm, I don't feel like this one's as pigmented I'm going to try to go in with this flat shader brush and see if i can apply it a little bit more but it's kind of like not picking up the color i feel like this is putting it on a little bit better but it's still not like the best I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. Not cut the crease. I'm going to apply concealer in the center of the lid just to get down that halo look. But so far, this is what it's looking like. Um, not too impressed with the eyeshadows. I feel like um, they're kind of starting to get like a little patchy right here in this area. I don't know if you can tell. But like right here.
I'm going to take this pinky shade and just apply it with my finger because I feel like you get really good pigmentation when you use your fingers, especially with shimmer shades. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you kind of could see what it is that I'm looking at here. Um, <laughs> dog. I'm going to zoom in so that way you're able to see a little bit closer on what's going on in the outer third of the eye. I feel like the eyeshadows come off a lot. Um, and then I'll go ahead and put on liner and lashes and then we'll move on to the face. All right, so right in here, like in this area, the color just doesn't stay. It keeps coming off. So about there, it keeps like fading off. So um, I don't know, like I'm going to try to apply more. But it's almost like, you see how it doesn't stay? Yeah, I'm not crazy about this palette. So far, um, the first two shades did blend out really nicely. And the color still is there. But I feel like the darker shades are giving me a harder time like keeping them in place. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with some liner. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Breakup Proof Liner. And I'm just going to add a wing just because I don't like the way the outer third is looking at all. I feel like, I definitely feel like, I mean, for the price, it's $5. It's not too bad, but with the Rose in the Air eyeshadow palette, I don't think I had trouble like that. I'll go ahead and click the video here on the card somewhere so that way you can check it out. It's one of my first, like, YouTube videos. It's, like, super old, but go ahead and um, check that video out. And I didn't have as much problems with it with that I don't even think I had issues with that eyeshadow palette compared to this one. This one, uh, I'm not too crazy about it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back and we will finish off the face in speed mode and some music so you guys can enjoy the music and just watch me put on the rest of my makeup. Alright you guys, so this is what the eyes look like and honestly they do look really pretty. Um, but when you get up close you can kind of see like they're a little bit like patchy, like missing color. But... So far, I do like the way it looks, but um, do I recommend you spend your $5 on this eyeshadow palette? No. If you really want it, wait till they go on sale or wait till you get like a coupon from CVS. If you're not signed up with CVS Rewards, you should definitely sign up with them. They always have sale with Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Makeup, Maybelline, L'Oreal, all those brands and... The coupons really help so you can get the makeup at a discounted price but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the skin i'm going to be priming with the wet n wild photo focus primer serum this baby i have not used it in such a long time it's been oh my god it's been months that's just i'll just tell you that so we're gonna apply a generous amount because I want it evenly like spread out through the face. Man, you guys, I was really disappointed. Like I really wanted the 
eyeshadow palette to be like bomb but i'm gonna do swatches at the end of the video so just stay tuned for that let's let this dry down I haven't been using my fan. I don't even want to go and get it. I'm just, whatever. Use your hands. <laughs> or let's see. A ver, con este. And then my, I hit myself. <laughs> let's go ahead and go in with foundation. I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Dewy Luminix foundation. Or Luminil, however you say it. And let's just apply this to the face. I like this foundation. I feel like it gives the skin such a pretty dewy look to the skin. Like it's it's a pretty foundation to wear, especially if you're dry skin. I feel like if you're dry skin, you're gonna love this. Um, if you're oily, I don't think that you would be a big fan of using this foundation. This foundation does not dry down, so just an FYI, you do have to set it if you don't like the dewy look on your skin. Um, mine is in the shade Golden Beige. That's what I am using for my shade. with the photo focus concealer in light medium i'm almost out of this stuff this is a good concealer i haven't tried the incognito but i have seen reviews sandy here on youtube she has reviewed it on her channel and she says it's a lightweight concealer it's not like full coverage so I don't think I'm going to be picking it up just because I like for my concealer to be a little bit more on the full coverage side to cover my dark circles. Translucent powder. This is the Wet n Wild translucent powder. I'm setting my face because I have like things that I need to do around the house, and I don't want to. I'm gonna get sweaty, so I know that my oil oils are gonna seep through the parts of my face that I do get oily on. And I don't want to look extra greasy like when my hubby comes home from work. Cuando mi marido llega a la casa no quiero mirarme como un grease ball. <laughs> I'm going to set a little bit more like precise um, with the sponge underneath my eyes because I do want the eyes to be more set okay now I'm gonna go in with this flat shader brush and I'm gonna take this shade here and smoke it on the lower lash line smoked out really nice I don't know why it just doesn't sit on the other eyeshadow like really nicely it's sitting good right now like as like um eyeliner effect or a smoke out effect like smoked out on the lower lash line it sits really nicely but when sitting on top of the other shade like it was just not working out so like the way the this shade looks like 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to like play with this foundation a little um, foundation. I'm gonna have to play with this palette a little bit more and see which shades I like the most. Like, but this one looks really pretty smoked out on the lower lash line. Like, I really like the way it looks. Looks pretty. For blush, I'm gonna use Nudist Society. You guys saw me use this in one of my last videos, so just gonna go in with this all right so i didn't put no bronzer on because i don't i have a wet and wild bronzer i just don't know where it's at i have to look for it and i don't feel like looking for it so we're just going with blush i do have the after sex glow highlighter and i also have the what is this golden flower crown this is like one of my favorite wet and wild um highlighters i've already hit pan on this one this one's so good it's one of my favorite highlighters um if you're anything like my skin tone i think that it this color will look stunning on your skin um or if you're darker if you're lighter it's gonna look really yellow on your skin so i wouldn't recommend it for really light skin tones but if you're anything like me or darker pick it up girl it's a good one and it's been around for a while mine's is already yeah, casi broken or whatever but who cares right as long as the product still works see how pretty that is it's like a pretty like it's just the perfect glow forgot the inner corner highlight so let's go ahead and go in with some inner corner highlight i'm gonna take this shade here i already decided off camera that i was gonna do this shade so let's go ahead and go in with this shade for the inner corner and then we'll move into the lips oh this is pretty pretty color I really do like it now I'm gonna set the face with the wet and wild coconut spray Okay, for lips, I don't have a lip liner, but I am going to be using, I have these three from Wet n Wild. I have the Wet n Wild Matte Liquid Cat Soup, um, Cat Soup, not Soup. I always say Soup, but in, I have this one in Nudist Peach. I have Peach Stole My Look, and this one is a High Shine Lipstick. And then I have another high shine lipstick and this one is in send nudes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Oh, I also have um, a gloss from Redman Rock. But since those are glosses, we're just going to use one of those. I'm going to apply this one and I know it's going to be super light. So I'm going to go over it with send nudes to tone it down a bit.
This is a very, very pretty color. Um, I feel like it doesn't lay the product like evenly. I feel like it it's not the best liquid lipstick I've ever used. But like I said, we're going to go in with the gloss tone it down a little bit because I feel like it's too peachy for this look like we got a lot going on with the eyes we don't want to take away from the eyes let me take this off Now I look crazy. I'm just going to go in with the High Shine uh, lipstick and this one's in Send Nudes. All right, you guys, so now for the swatches, let's go ahead and swatch all the shades and see which shades are really pretty. I'm going to start out with the top row and just start from the darkest shade and go all the way to the lightest. All right, so that's I'm gonna swatch those are all the shades except one so this is the last shade I haven't swatched yet and I'm gonna swatch it actually at the beginning because I went too far back here so I'm just gonna swatch it here but these are all the shades in the eyeshadow palette they are really pretty shades um, I think my favorite shades from them all are the shimmer shades, definitely. So, yeah, um, I definitely feel like the shimmer shades are, like, the best colors in the eyeshadow palette. The mattes are not so great. I don't recommend you purchasing, purchasing this, even if it's just $5. I mean, get it when it's, like, half off of that. Like, I feel, like, a little bit disappointed in the matte shades. I mean, still, it's just $5. It's not too, too much. Like, it would be a little bit more disappointing if I was spending money, like, on a really expensive palette and it didn't work out. But, I mean, for drugstore, it's it worked out for the eyeshadow look. It's just, I feel like in some areas it was patchy. Let me know if you guys have tried this eyeshadow palette before. And if you have, what are your thoughts down in the description box? In the description, not in the description box, down in the comments below. I'm sorry. Um, my mind's just somewhere else. But anyways, yes, um, I do love the turnout. It does look good, but I don't recommend you running out and getting it. So, Also, um, I will be having a giveaway, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications, and comment down below a star, so that way I know that you watched the video all the way through. And I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.